Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. Over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. Hey, John. Hey. So, what do you think about how today's been so far? Pretty good. Yeah, same Long here. Day. It's almost Friday, which means we got more work tomorrow. You guys will <laughs> see us tomorrow, along with us doing this. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. They'll offer you for all your hockey needs, including something like this. Anyway, why we're here. Well, amongst all the, you know, the scrimmage the Preds had today, there's a yep. lot these news. Something else in the NHL happened today, in the NHL world. Right. And, and that world is also connected to a world me and John are very familiar with because we've both been playing EA's NHL games since it's 94. Yes, since 1990. I played world hockey before that. Yes, world hockey on, on what was that? Uh, computer. Computer. And then you had, what is that? Amco hockey on NES. Yeah. A little bubble hockey. Mm -hmm. That was the other way we played video games when we were kids. We played foosball hockey. <laughs> yep, tabletop hockey. Yep, or air hockey, or we did something. Kid, uh, we were, or we went outside and played. Street. And played, right. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, I was outside every day on roller skates playing street hockey. So, me too. So, I mean, I loved it. But this, the games today, but the games when we were kids to shame. I mean, you're never going to get the nostalgia of, of 94 or NHL 14. Those two games are iconic. Right. Um, you know, and, and those two games will hold a special spot in a lot of people's hearts. Um, right. Losing life was a great idea. Um, and, and NHL 14 being the or NHL, NHL 19. 94 being the first game released by a major game console, a major company releasing a sports game, which was also followed that year by Madden and as yeah. well as um, NBA Jam. Yeah. Which was all fun, cool, and cool too. Um, and then, well, N64 came and, well, <laughs> we were hooked mm. from there. Yeah. Um, but let's let's talk about it a little bit um me and you've played the most recent version right um it wasn't horrible not as bad as years i've seen um 16 be or not 16 15 comes to mind being probably the worst next gen game i've ever played i don't even think i bought 15 i bought 14 and then i bought 16 yeah 15 was on the ps4 had the NHL, you could see the AHL, but you couldn't use them. It was like playing NHL 2003. Right. You could see the players in the minors, but playing with them in the minors, well, that's not going to happen. And that's something, I mean, how much more work did you really have to put in from that, from Legacy? If you remember right. when that, me and you were hanging out at that time. Yeah. You know, the PlayStation 3 version was better yeah, than well, the PS4. And I had both. I think you did too. Yeah, I still do. I have every game from 2000 and, and I actually give me a split second here. I am going to pause to find you something. <clears throat> All righty. So as I said, I've been playing NHL for a long time. For any of you to wonder this. All right. So I have the digital copy of every game from Legacy on. Yeah. So Legacy on, everything is digital. I'm not about to show you every NHL game on PlayStation. That's just too much time. But I can do this. NHL 2001. Anybody, me and John's age, remembers this. <laughs> <laughs> When the PlayStation discs were blue. Blue, yeah. The disc is blue. Shout out to Jim Carrey. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, 2002 is a very hard game to find. I own it. But I do have NHL 2003 with Jerome McGinley. Danny Heatley, 2004. Marcus Naslin, 2005. Yes, that's an Xbox. I play any console I can play hockey on, I play. Gretzky, 06. So the only <laughs> EA made a game, but they only produced very few copies. This right. sold way more. Wonder <clears throat> why? AHL. What happened a year after? The NHL started using the AHL. Right. EA put them out of business. Speaking of that next year, Ovechkin on the cover. Right. Year after that, 2008, Eric Stahl. Yeah, after that, first game on this gen. That's nine. Which they also had on the PS2 gen. The first of three Blackhawks covers. <laughs> yeah. Um, 2010. 2011. Blackhawks. Then again in, what was that, 16? I think so. When they won the cup, and then they had to take Patrick Kane off because of that thing. Mm -hmm. All right, 12, Steven Stamkos. 13, Claude Giroux. 14, probably the greatest goalie of our lifetime, Martin Berdur. Only reason he's going to be labeled that, played way longer than he should have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about this, okay? In 2019, they had Austin Matthews on the cover. Yeah. This year, again, we have Austin Matthews on the cover. Now, yeah. I kind of wanted David Pasternak, Sidney Crosby, somebody who hasn't been on the cover yet. Right. Crosby, as much as I don't like him, it's deserving of it. Yes. May not like him as a player, may not like him as a person, but you respect his ability and you give him his props. He deserves to be on it. Pasta, young talent, should be on it to promote the future of the game. You have right. done all these commercials, why not put him on the cover? It makes sense. For me, I'm a bit of Homer. I want a Pecorine. Me too, <laughs> man. Me too. I wanted to cover with a Nashville Predator that was not P.K. Subban. And look, it has nothing to do with P.K. Subban. Right. On why we are, most Nashville fans are not accepting of that cover. We love the fact that he was even on the cover in a Preds jersey. Yeah. The problem we have with it is there were many Preds players that should have been on the cover, but never were. Right. Because until P.K. Subban came in and we went to the cup, we were second tier. Everybody. Right. You know? I mean, you look at it, and since 14, the Devils have been rebuilding. Right. So, I mean, when you look at that, all right? So, let's get into that. Now, this year, this most current gen, not 2022, which is just about to come out, uh, the release date, I will get to that in a minute as well. Um, we have the... Um, be overhaul of of uh, be a pro, which was much needed because be a pro was stale, boring, flat. As a person who loves to play the mode, it was flat. I was bored with it within like six games, so it was flat. It was just a dead mode. This year they did a great job build off it. I hope that's what they're doing with the newest uh, addition to the game, which is. The X Factors, Superstar X Factors. Right. They have three of them announced. There are, I believe, 20 of them, or if not 22 of them. All right. So one of them is Make It Snappy, which gives a huge power boost, power or a huge boost to power and accuracy when taking a snapshot while skating. Okay. Um, quick pick, which 
snatching the puck from anyone in the blink of an eye, increasing puck interception rate and range. Something in this, something that NHL has been lacking is the ability to do that. And I think that adding this ability will help people who like to play a defensive game and, turn, and, and, and steal the puck. Um, and then tape to tape, it's auto saucer. Literally, that's all it is. Auto right. saucer. You, you, you're able to sauce the puck, pass it in any vision, um, reduces power play penalties on, on your vision. You'll be able to see and read everything um, when this ability is activated. Okay. So, so that's going to be cool to see how that works. Now, I do know that X Factors will also be available in Hut and Chell. Okay. So, so that will be fun to see how I navigate the X Factors in Chell. Right. Um, where me and John will also have to navigate it in franchise mode, which there will be more to come um, in the coming days and weeks ahead. You know, when they release the trailer and the release date, there's never anything about it, really. All right. right. So another thing that they added was AR. Um, they really, really wanted a modern TV broadcast feel when they do the AR. Right. Which is fine by me. I think that they should have. It's great for when you get a penalty, an infraction, uh, structure of the game, durality, draft, all those things. That The game being able to learn those names and say them to the best of its ability is right. great. Um, and then having it in said person's voice. All right. Now, um, the other thing, we have visual updates. Next gen visual updates are as followed. Um, deferred lighting everywhere, okay? This is something, when you're playing and you see a shadow going over the puck, it makes for bad play. Improve VFX, good idea. Post FX, great idea. Particle FX, great idea. Ice improvement, right? right. Um, shadows being reduced, reduced shadow, making it transparent shadows. Great idea. Shadows, yes, they're needed because when you're looking at a game from above, if you're playing at that camera, yes, there should be a shadow. So right. Right. A transparent shadow or shadow reduction is a great thing. Uh, dynamic ambient oscillation, which is another thing. In the background, back in the day, you used to see fans and they'd be talking and they go uh -huh. like this and you can see through the back of them into the fan behind them. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Um, the next gen console will get a dynamic lighting and an enhanced shadows, which means that it will hold to the lightness of the player. Right. Uh, right. Micro details and enhanced effects, which doesn't surprise me because the PlayStation 4 graphic card is not going to be able to hold what they wanted to do anyway. Right. It isn't. All right. So with that being said, there's that. Um, the other thing we are highly looking forward to um, is the release date. Now, the release date is October 15th. If you buy the premium edition or the X Factor edition, as they're calling it, you have the ability to get it three days early with hut packs. Which, nice. um, if you play hut, that's great for you. If not, then you're like me who just sits there and looks at it and goes, Ugh. So I want it for the X Factors. That's my personal right. opinion. They do have X Factors inside there. Um, the league's best X Factors. Uh, guys like Patrick Kane get good stick handling and, and, and a, a puck awareness. Uh, right. You have uh, Austin Matthews who have a zone ability to call shock it off. Um, uh, Andre Vasilevsky, he has a contortionist zone where he can make saves that are just Look Not humanly enough. impossible. <laughs> but he's done that in real life, so you're yes, not he has. By it. Okay, you have, uh, you know, some abilities in this game. Guys like Austin Matthews, Connor McDavid, uh, Phil Forsberg, uh, Svechnikov, they're all going to have their own little power pocket. Right. Which will help you play with those players in, say, franchise mode, maybe. You know, you'll be able to to zone in on, on, on players' abilities 
their X factors and make sure say, hey, I got a, a tape to tape guy, but then I got a right. guy over here who has make it snappy. So guess what? I'm gonna tape to tape to the guy who has make it snappy and I'm gonna be able to make those plays a lot faster. Now, the one thing I hope they do is they do not make it um, one dimensional um, to where you take a shot on a goalie, like in years past, John, me and you've seen this a lot, where you take the same shot and they never learn from it. And, and, right. it, and, and it always goes in. Now, that's not even the biggest news out of all of this. The graphics, everything, that's nice. One thing I would like to see them fix is for people like me who like to create their own team, um, I would like to see them be able to bring the roster updates in where it's not going to mess with your custom team roster. Yeah, you don't have to keep like recreating or standard basing your team. Right. Now, here's the one thing, like people like me who will sometimes – you know, if I'm doing like an expansion team, of course, I'm in a sim the first couple of years, rebuild, do those things. I do it the old fashioned way, much like I'm probably going to do with Seattle, which if you check out some stuff, we are talking potentially about streaming the game the first day we get it on our page. So it is a talk. If you guys want to see it, hit like on this video and we'll make sure that it happens. If yeah. not, then you may not get the content. It may go to our gaming page. It all depends. All right. So with all that being said, or it may go to my gaming page. Who knows? I just share it to our, our pages. But at the same time, all I'm saying is that for this, the biggest news of this is we got rid of that old, outdated, standard operating system, and we moved to Frostlight. Right. Brand new game engine. I mean, I, it's not I love new. it. I'm excited to see it. It's not new, but it is new to hockey. It is new to hockey, that's for sure. You know, EA's been using it for years with uh, Madden and NBA. Um, not so much NBA. I think they're done with that again. Uh, every few years, they pump out a couple games, and then they stop. <laughs> yeah, they do. I do prefer their games over 2K just because of the realism, but that's beside the point. Right. Um, I think that we have a lot to look forward to, to see more. I'm sure there's going to be an updated version of this video. So I'm going to say the same thing in it. Um, if you're looking forward to it, what are you looking forward to most? What mode are you hoping come back, comes back most? And are you happy with the X factors or not? Please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the game. And that will help us out a lot. By the way, while you're doing those things, please check out our sponsor, Hockey Locker. This has been from Milwaukee to Nashville's review of the trailer of NHL 2022. We will probably be having a lot of fun with that this year. You might see us even stream a few times. So before that, before long, you guys will be seeing us more like tomorrow when we have the Nashville Predators Future Stars game. We will be seeing you there at seeing, well, not seeing you there. We'll be seeing you after the game. We wish we were seeing you there. Yeah, we wish you were, we were seeing you there. But <laughs> see y'all later. Peace.